Show, doo -doo 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 -doo, episode number 94. We're hanging out at the, uh, the Fanboy Expo here in Lakeland. My guest this week, unbelievable, Butch Patrick. Thank you for uh, for joining me. Thank you for talking to me. No problem, I don't. Uh, we're, we're hanging out here um, in, in, in Lakeland. Uh, is this your first time in Lakeland, actually? No, not at all. I've uh, lived in Florida a long time and been through been through Lakeland many times. Where are where the, where the, in, in Florida do you live? Uh, St. Pete Beach, Madeira Beach, Reddington Beach, um, Tierra Verde, and Orlando. Oh, very nice. I actually uh, grew up in the St. Pete's. Uh, live in the Orlando now, stay in the Orlando now. But yeah, that's... Uh, so yeah, so Florida's been kind to you, I suppose. Uh, yeah, especially in the wintertime. Yeah, uh, you're not a fan of the cold? Not a fan of the cold. You, me either. Like, uh, I was talking to uh, uh, one of the other guests here, uh, uh, Tara Sands, and she was like, I, I hate the cold. Uh, so, um, obviously you're um, most well known, I guess, as Eddie Munster, of course. Yeah, that's and, true. Uh, but uh, so, um, but what are you doing these days? Is it a lot of conventions? Is it a lot of traveling? Is it just a lot of relaxation? A couple interesting things. I actually purchased the Munster Coach and Dragula replica cars, tribute cars, last year. So I do a lot of car related uh, business. That is awesome. I do that. I actually bought a uh, childhood home in Macon, Missouri, 5,000 population that's haunted. My grandma's old house that I lived in in '67 when I was in the eighth grade. So I'm going to do paranormal investigations, I got my cars that I go on the road with, and I occasionally do uh, fanboy expos and other comic cons. That is, that is very cool. I was just uh, having a conversation about the Dragula. That is uh, one of the most iconic cars in the, the history of television. Uh, there's, you could you say there's just a, a handful of others that could be in the same sentence. But uh, So you bought a replica. Yeah, tribute cars is what they're called. And uh, the originals are in a museum, so they're unavailable. Uh, and George, as you know, probably passed away back in November. But he, uh, the Munster Coach and the Dragula were the first TV show, were the first TV hot rods on the show before the Batmobile, before the General Lee, and before the rest of the cars. Did you get to drive it as a kid? Well, no, I'm only like this tall. Yeah, you know, sometimes I, hey, hey, go, go drive it, go drive it. No. no. <laughs> but they made me a cool Stingray bike. Uh, George Burns and Bond Dutch, they presented me with a Stingray bicycle that I own that now as well, so it's pretty cool. Wow, that is cool. And then uh, you said you uh, you do the paranormal investigations. Is that based on uh, your grandmother's house, or is that uh, you do other uh, you travel around and do that as well? No, I have people come to me. Oh yeah, people come to you. Oh, so they come to your house or your grandmother's. So that was your grandmother's house. Obviously, you spent a lot of time there in your childhood. That is very cool. Like beautiful. Um, it's a beautiful Queen Anne Victorian home built in 1875 on a couple acres. Uh, it's like the most famous house in town. Not because I live there, just because of the haunting. Um, so I'm looking forward to that, and I also, when you, when you mentioned your name Milo, I don't know if people know, but there's a movie called The Phantom Tollbooth, uh, that Chuck Jones is the only feature movie, and my character was Milo. I always liked the name. So yeah. It's interesting I've run it's, across a Milo. It's a good name. Milo is a fantastic name. Um, do you feel, because of the Munsters, um, and I guess now with your grandmother, do you feel like a connection, do you feel like you're drawn into that paranormal type? of stuff? Do people come at you with, with that type of stuff more often than not? Well, they're going to start. And I'm definitely going to start. It's the, I, I look at the idea. It's a small town. It's Andy of Mayberry meets Eddie Munster in the Twilight Zone. So it's going to have legs. Um, I do what I like to do. Uh, I'm saving the house for the right reasons. Right. The ghost is a friendly ghost, benevolent ghost, Miss Ruby. She's uh, Elizabeth Wardell, died in 1905. Hovers around the stairway. I'm looking forward to restoring the home and moving to a small town. I still travel a lot, but for all the right reasons, it's going to be a lot of fun. And you can go to Munsters.com, and all the information regarding that will be there. <laughs> uh, one th real quick, one thing that we like to do on the Milo Beasley show is called the Top Five. Okay. Top Five, besides Dragula, television vehicles. Okay. Uh, well, you got the Batmobile. Uh, you've got the Monkey Mobile. You've got the General Lee, that's Charger. Uh, and depending on what you really like, you could have some of the certain other cars, but I would say Back to the Future DeLorean. There you go. <laughs> uh, Back to the Future is, is that's, uh, that's my... Does that work? Yeah, that works. Uh, so real quick, where can folks find you on the social medias? Uh, are you on there, you know, promoting your stuff? Uh, let your yeah. fans know where you are? Well, join the official Munsters fan group on Facebook, and then there's also Butch Patrick as well at Munsters.com, Twitter, BP Munster. I'm out there. All right, thank you very much. You got it. And uh, we'll see you next week.